All right, welcome back. This is M Dog. We are back here at Maku Maku Lake, and I uh, want to show you a spot that uh, I'm seeing. I'm seeing lots of people fish here. I think this the information about this spot is getting out. But this is where you can target the very large Arap Arapaima Arapaima uh, species of fish here in the Amazon. Um, this 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 guy gets up to 200 kilos. Although I think that's probably more like a unique size, which um, I'm not sure they're actually getting that large just yet, but um, they're certainly getting, you know, well over 200 pounds. Uh, I think over 300 pounds. Um, we might be able to see. Okay, so it looks like over 200 pounds is, is where we're at at this point. Um, so they're big. They're very big. I, I really, my setup is not strong enough for them. Uh, my bottom feeder setups. The safer thing for me to do is actually fish for them out of the boat. You'll see when, when we hook into one, I may or may not even be able to get it in, uh, to be quite honest with you, but um, but it is fun. And I can at least show you uh, where we're catching them. I also am able to catch some spin fishing as well now. So um, where, we, where you wanna come into is just spawn in here at the boat and you're actually just gonna come straight down. It's, it's in this little circle, it's in the back part of this area here. Um, so if you go into game, this, this is where we're at. There's this nice little wooden stand. Uh, I will say the smaller boats are just better on this map for getting around. If you have one of the, not the big old bass boat, but it, it's actually can be a little tricky uh, maneuvering and, and then you've got this big boat in the way. But, but anyway, if you, if you pull out the map, um, this is where you're gonna be coming in on the dock. And you really just wanna take your boat or rent a boat and just come straight here and then go down this little inlet and uh, right back in here is where we're fishing at. Um, I have one mark here, but that's for a different species. That was a unique uh, arowana. Um, and the reason why I don't have the, the species we're trying to talk about in this video marked is because really they're all over. Um, I mean, you can cast in here, catch them, in here, catch them, in, in here, catch them. I think they're probably, to be quite honest, all over this area. So let's just, um, let's just put this in. Uh, we're using large minnows with a 7-0 hook. I'm actually gonna start off with just one feed, one bottom rod in, because I think we'll probably catch one pretty quick. Uh, and in the meantime, I want to, um, I want to see if we can hook into some, some stuff on spin fishing too. Um, but yeah, if you use large minnows and just the, lar the strongest bottom gear you have, you can uh, fill up your net, make a lot of money in a very short amount of time, honestly. Um, if you've got smaller gear like I do you may just want to have one feeder out with large minnows and sit on your boat and fish because um, quite frankly they're just big and strong and if you don't have the gear for it uh, just being stationary on this board here is, is very difficult so we're using speed to retrieval and even though these are these swim baits the swim bait talks about doing straight retrieval but that doesn't seem to be working for me and so what I'm actually doing is uh, is a two-speed stop and go um, and that has been working much better. We're already getting a bite there. Um, and so this big, big fish we're going after, we'll see them, but we also see lots of piranha and, and other predator fish back here as well. So this is a nice little spot for fishing. You can uh, fill up your net in no time, make a lot of cash, get a lot of XP. This, is, um, this spot is really fun. Between this spot and then also just the catfish fishing that you can do in this, in this, in this water, uh, at this spot is, I mean, in this, you know, body of water, it's just been a lot of fun. Um, in fact, I know in the last video, I did a lot of focused mostly on catfish, um, fishing, but I, I want to do that again. Uh, I may or not, may or may not record it, but, um, I really want to go back to that spot. I've got some bigger catfish hooks and just really want to try to focus a little more on different baits and see what seems to be working the best to get the, as big a catfish as possible. And at this point, that's more of a money farm for me because um, my gear is actually too strong for the, most of the catfish here. Not all of them, but most of them. Where these big fish, my gear is not strong enough. So I'm kind of in between the two. All right, let's, let's try this one more time and I'll switch colors. I, if it's not catching something, usually I just you know switch color. I saw some activity right there. I kind of want to go right back to that spot. Um, and if we don't catch something soon on this first line, we'll go ahead and put the put another one in. I, I, what ends up happening, to be honest with you, is I end up getting two or three on at the same time. 
And with my gear, it takes so long to get them in that that's just really bad news for me. There we go. No, oh, come on. I'm pretty sure we're getting getting a fish's attention there. But you'll you'll get you'll hit piranhas. You'll hit um, these big these big boys that we're actually going after with the large minnows. Uh, there's several different different fish you can get, and, and it's, it's, you're not going to get a you know. What was it we were catching over on the other spot? Every time we put the rod in on spin fishing, we were getting those silver croakers or whatever they are. There's actually a lot of variety back here. This has been a really fun place to fish. And it's also been nice because I, I just hadn't found a spot to really consistently catch fish on these new lures and baits and everything that came with the DLC. This day, this day has been weird. There really hasn't been like a hot time to fish. Um, and it was storming really bad earlier, which seemed to really screw with the bites a little bit. But um, I don't think this is like the ideal day. But I think we'll still be able to catch something and at least show you this spot. I mean, it, this really is uh, tremendous. And it's been a lot of fun. All right, let's just kind of rotate colors here. See if we can't get something to take our spinner. And like I said, I'll throw another bottom feeder in there shortly. You shouldn't have to wait. I mean, if I have three bottom feeders in with large minnows on, it's just one after another typically. So if it's, if it's slow like this, especially if you have multiple rods in, there's probably something going on the time of day or, you know, I'm wondering if we're actually hitting like something in the water there. Maybe that's not a um, maybe that's not a fish that's hitting our line. I am kind of throwing to that same spot, and I keep thinking we're getting a bite, but you know it might just be that um, that we're hitting something in the water, you know, like an elevation change or something. I really like it up against the. The side over here is where I just end up seeing a lot of the fish activity and feel like a lot of time that's where I'm getting these bites from. Yeah, I'm really surprised. All right, so before we throw that again, let's go ahead and let's go ahead and up the uh, up the up the activity here on the big boys. And if we start getting one in, I can always can always try to pull the other two back in. But normally, like I said, normally it's just one fish after another here. All right, that feels like a little piranha or something, right? No, that's a little peacock. Trophy butterfly peacock. I don't think I'd ever caught one of those out here before. All right, this is the bad news. When it rains, it pours. Wow. 
Wow. All right, we're definitely not getting that one in anytime soon, so let's see. So we'll watch the tension of that other one. We were never going to get all three in, I don't think. I actually have gotten all three in before, but it is it requires a lot of switching. Yeah, this guy is just running and running. Let's see. Um, let's see how aggressive this one. Oh yeah. Alright, we're down to one. And that's why I did not necessarily want to put multiple in, but again, if you have the gear for this spot, you can just make so much money XP quickly. Um, and, and actually it's best for me to catch him on the spinners because the spinning setup has a lot more power than my little feeders do. But it is possible for me to get them in on the feeders, but it is not ideal. It's not efficient. And it's too bad you can't just jump in the boat, right? That's why if you have smaller gear like I do, you, you probably want to just fish from your boat. Don't anchor down, just fish from your boat. And either just, you know, either, you know, even if you just let the fish court sort of drag you a little bit, you're closing the distance and shortening that fight time a little bit. You can see him out there. It's really cool. They immediately come to the surface a lot of times. It's not like they're taking it to the bottom. And then again, it's not very deep back here either. They almost look like, you know, alligators are so long. Uh, I've seen, you know, of course, the young variety, the normal variety, and the tro and the uh, trophies have come out back here in this spot. So they're all here. It's just a matter of can you get them in. I think some of what I'm feeling is also just the, the line is taking such, such damage from these fish. I'm, you know, I, I, I feel the loss of vitality in the line pretty quick. This is also fluorocarbon line. We are gaining more than we're losing now. It's a good sign. This should just be a normal one. 
Um, I don't know, maybe like, what, 30, 40 kilos? I don't think it's a young one. Uh, honestly, the young ones and the normal ones, they all fight about the same. They're really hard to get in on my gear, and then finally they come in. So that's a 50 kilo, 100 pound fish, worth over 5,000. Um, let's see if we can spin fish a little bit longer. I don't want to make this a super long video. I will probably do some catfish. Highlight some more catfish uh, fishing because it's really more matches my gear a little better. But um, it's not super efficient for me to sit back here. If I, Again, if I was going to do it, I would just do it with one feeder or with the spinner. But if you have stronger gear, this is a great place to catch them. Um, just for some comparisons. See, the young one is worth was worth 527 experience, so twice the experience for the regular. And uh, a good bit more money as well. We got a trophy red eye here in this spot just a, a few minutes ago. We also just got that trophy bass. Lots of nice fish back here. I mean, honestly, this is just a really fun place to fish. So let's give this a couple more tosses, and then we'll wrap this one up. But if you've, uh, if you've got access to the lake and you haven't come back here and, and given this spot a try, totally worth it. It's a lot of fun. you fish with large minnows here you're going to catch one of those um arapaimas pretty much every cast i mean i don't know maybe 90 percent of the time maybe more uh with the the spinner bait or the swim baits back here it is not 100 percent, obviously in fact it's probably more like 25 percent of the time in my experience but it's still reasonable you still see them for sure I haven't tried any of the soft baits back here. They may work with these fish as well. I don't know, but the swim baits have been working really well. I like all of the swim baits uh, that came with the, the uh, lake, but really to me, the um, purple one I've had the most success. That's why I keep, I probably should switch off and try something else, but. Surprises me we didn't catch a fish that time. All right, one more cast and we'll wrap it up.
We need to cast right back to that same spot. There's fish activity over there. completely settle here. Just not liking my color right now. Yeah, I'm going to do some more testing back here. I don't know if it has to do with the weather, the time. Uh, it's been a weird day. It really has. But um, anyway, that is the Arapaima spot. And, and like I said, if you've got the gear for it, you can just get one after the other on those large minnows. It is killer. And um, fill up those big old keep nets and uh, cash in. So anyway, thanks for joining me. I'm going to go do some catfish uh, fishing and I'll probably separate that into a separate video. So let's wrap this up here and uh, then let's go get some more catfish. But thanks for watching. I will see you next time.